I know SEO can be complex and as Shopify store owners, you lack the time to learn it from the scratch. But today in this video, I'll give you six super quick hacks that will triple your traffic overnight. So stick around to the end of this video because the last hack is going to change the way you look at SEO and it will literally triple your traffic very, very quickly. So let's jump right into the video. Before we jump into the video, I'd like to show you what kind of results these quick hacks can get you. So this client came to us when they were getting around 70, 80 clicks. And when we apply these hacks along with other SEO strategies, they have jumped to over 900 to 1000 daily clicks. So that means they've already gotten 1000% increase in the traffic just in the last four or five months of working with us. So if you're looking to get similar results with us, you can book a consultation call with us. The link could be in the description. Also make sure to check the description. There would be SEO goodies, free eBooks, which contains a lot of SEO strategies. Click the link in the description and you'll be able to get those ebooks and you'll be able to apply those strategies on your Shopify brands and you'll be able to get similar results. So what I want to show you is that these strategies work and what I am going to show you in the video is something that's proven again and again on multiple Shopify brands and multiple Shopify clients that we work with. So make sure you click on the subscribe button as well and click on the notification bell because I create videos like this twice to thrice every week. So make sure you get notified by clicking on the, the subscribe button as well as the notification bell that's there. So let's jump right into the video. Let's start with having a look at, let's say, the leather wallet keyword. So these are some of the sites that are ranking for it and I've opened a couple of them. The very first thing, so this is one of the plugins that I have developed for e-commerce SEO. It's not yet publicly available, but I'm planning to release it soon. So make sure you subscribe to my channel and click on the notification bell so you'll get notified once this is out. So the very first quick hack is make sure your title contains the keyword that you're willing to rank for. So for example, if your main keyword is leather wallet, make sure title contains that keyword. For, so here, leather wallet or leather wallets, I mean, it's a variation of that keyword. So it is there in this site's meta title. Similarly, the second site that's ranking there, if we open their meta title, that also contains this keyword. This is a good sign and this is one of the reasons why this site is ranking number one and two. So what we are going to do is if you have a site that's not ranking on the first page, but you want it to rank on the first page and you have a Shopify brand that sells leather wallet and you are, let's say, ranking on the fourth or fifth page, but you want to get on the first page, that's the very first thing that I would check and that would be like a very quick win for you is go into the collection page where which one you want to rank for leather wallets and make sure your meta title contains this keyword leather wallets. So what you can then do is you can go to chat GPT and give the chat GPT prompt that give me a meta title which is under 60 characters or you can just say to be under 55 characters to be on even on the safer side. And that includes the keyword leather wallets because that's your main keyword. So then chat GPT would give you some of those meta titles, then refine it by giving the prompt like don't sound robotic or give some variations of that. And then you'll be able to select from one of the suggestions that sounds the best to you. What that would do is because this is a very, very important real estate, this thing here, this meta title here uh, is very critical. It gives Google the idea of what this page is about. So if you don't have this keyword here, that's a very, very important thing that you are missing. And I see this happening across so many e-commerce stores and specifically Shopify stores because there's so many products and collection pages on these Shopify stores that you kind of tend to miss this very simple but important step. So if you have, let's say, 100 or 200, 500 product pages or collection pages on your store, if you just optimize this across all of these pages, that itself will have a massive, massive impact on your traffic. So even each page starts getting 5 to 10, 15 visitors daily. All of that product and collection pages combined would add a lot of organic traffic to your site. So even though this sounds like a small change, it will result in a massive win for you overall. So that's the number one quick win that you should definitely implement. The second thing right below that is meta description. So meta description is what is seen when someone search for. So let's say if, if you're going to search for leather wallets, this thing here that you're going to see, this is what is called meta description. So this section here is also where we, we suggest that you should have the keyword in here as well. So the limit for this is around 160 characters. So you should try a name for this to be under 160 characters and make sure your keyword is also mentioned here. So again, for this, what you can do is use chat GPT to generate this. Make sure it doesn't sound robotic or it's not over complicated or, or very fancy English. It should be straight to the point, but it also includes your keyword. And again, this done across 
all of the pages on your site, all of the product pages, all of the collection pages would have a massive impact on the traffic that's coming to your site. Like I said, it's it sounds very small, but it's a massive quick win and it will result in a lot of traffic coming to your site if done across all of the pages on your site. So, so it's important that you work on this and get this done across all of the pages on your site. So these are a couple of the quick wins that we look across, right? So the next quick win that I'm going to talk about is H1 tags. So H1 tag is heading tag as the name suggests and per page of the site, there should only be one H1 tag. This is like a very basic SEO fundamental but this is something that I see wrong across so many Shopify stores or e-commerce stores in general because of some code issues or some apps issues or some development issues there are multiple H1s on, on the page and a lot of times when new clients come to us I see that uh, on pages there are multiple empty H1 tags so, so there are H1 tags where the, the H1s are there but they are empty or even tags like cart are there in H1s so make sure there's only one H1 tag and ideally it should be the title of your page. So the difference between meta title and heading or the H1 tag is there is no limit for the word count or character count for H1. Whereas this has a limit of 60 characters because that's where Google truncates what it shows in the SOPs. So to be on the safer side, what you can do is you can keep the title of the page to be the H1. Uh, and anyways, you'll be including the your primary keyword in the title. So that will also reflect in the H1. So it's important to have your main keyword in the title as well as the H1. Again, the rule of thumb is just have one H1 per page, not more than one. And don't have any empty H1 tags in there. It's, it's very, very critical to keep it very safe and just have one H1. So again, this sounds like a small fix. But again, if this is an issue, so sometimes there's an issue in the code of Shopify site or there's an app that is causing the bug. So what happens is this issue is there across multiple of the pages of the site and then the whole site is facing that issue and then Google is not able to understand your site and it's not able to rank it. So just fixing this small issue could have effect of magnitude much, much larger than what you think and it could result in much uh, positive effect of traffic coming to your site. So don't think of it as a small change. It could result into a very massive and positive ROI of traffic coming to your site. So yeah, this was another third quick win that you should definitely implement today and it will result in a quick win for you. So the next thing that will result in a quick win for you is having content on collection pages. So most of the clients when they come to us, their collection pages are nothing but just a list of products. They just create a collection page and they just add products on that. But if you add some sort of unique content on these collection pages that results in a massive win because then Google is able to understand that collection page much better and it starts ranking you for so many related LSI keywords and related keywords that it's like a massive win. So for example here if you see for leather wallets they have some content above the fold and then the products are there and then below the fold after the products they have a very detailed information about what kind of products are there their appearance quality and what frequently asked questions people would be asking about these wallets and all of that so what that does is it gives google a lot of context about the brand what kind of products there are frequently asked questions that the visitors would be asking so all of this improves the user experience rather than just having a list of products uh, they are also giving the users information that they're looking for about those products and everything. So all in all, this massively improves the user experience and then Google rewards this by ranking them for much more keywords. And if you see here, you can very well see that because they rank number one, they get much more traffic. And even for the keywords, they rank for much more keywords than their second and third competitor. And obviously Fossil is a much, much bigger brand. So they have DR76, whereas they are outranking them with DR52 and they're ranking for 940 keywords. So the second rank site is ranking 165 keywords, whereas this site is ranking for 940 keywords. That's the power of just doing little things extra and, and that could result in a massive, massive quick win for you. So what you can take away from this particular pointer is when you create a collection page, just add some sort of content above the fold here before the product grid. And then after the product grid, you can have detailed set of content, which would explain the features of the product, frequently asked questions, maybe a return policy, whatever, just add relevant content to it. And especially think of it from the user's point of view of what they would be specifically asking about it and all of that. So that would make a lot of sense. Now, this kind of leads me to the next pointer that would lead to another quick win. You can see how in this section after the products, they have very strategically interlinked all of their other collection pages from here. So internal links are a massive quick win. So if implemented internal links across your store, 
what that shows Google is okay this is how these pages are interlinked and they are relevant to each other plus they help uh, in flowing of backlinks and link juice from one page to another page so they contextually make everything relevant and interlinked you can see how they have interlinked everything from this section so after the products you have the content here and from here they have very diligently interlinked everything that's very relevant so this is exactly what you are also going to do from here you can link out other relevant collection pages or products that you have which you want to rank so once once you do that all of these product and collection pages will also start ranking so that would be a massive quick win for you as well so that comes to five quick wins and the last quick win that's going to work for you is having a look at what kind of backlinks your competitors have. So let's say you want to rank for leather wallet. Don't just get disheartened by, okay, they have almost 2000 links. What you're going to do is actually dissect how many good links they have. So what we'll do is we'll open this, their links in the new tab and we are going to apply some filters. So that's where your quick win is going to come from. Just note down these filters. We are going to apply the do follow filter. Then we are going to apply one link per domain filter and then we are going to apply dr greater than 15 filter so once you apply these three filters these are the actual good links that they have basically if you see with these 11 backlinks is what is coming to that particular page and this is what is helping them to rank massively similarly if you go to the second result we apply the same set of filters we apply one backlink per domain and we apply dr greater than 15 so if you do that one backlink per domain and do follow that actually takes away any link that they had so that means they're just ranking by their domain authority which was dr55 so this particular page in itself doesn't even have any good backlinks coming to it they are just ranking because of the domain authority that's there so that means they have good links coming to the other pages of the site but this particular page doesn't really have really good backlinks coming to it let's have a look at the other side that was ranking we'll apply the same filter and now if you go dr greater than 15 they have 21 group of backlinks that's coming to the site so once you have this number what you can do is you can create a sheet of how many links you need and you can then also create a list of how many drs what range of drs so i'll just actually show you i'll create a new sheet and here you, what you can do is uh, let me just turn the dark mode off so you can create the dr range which is let's say 20 to 50 dr 50 to 70 and so on and then you can go back here and you can count what range how many links so let's say you take a dr 20 to 50 if they have 12 links in total so average comes out to be 4 similarly if this they have also 12 links so the average comes out to be 4 so you know that okay you need 4 links in this range you need four links in this range so you need total of eight links to rank in this range so by this way you can get a sense or idea of how many links you need to rank given that your dr is also in similar range as theirs so this way you can have like a quick sense of how many links you are able to require in order to rank for it so and one final quick win would be following me on twitter where i share daily shopify or e-commerce seo related tips and tricks and case studies videos guides and all of that so that would be a massive quick win for you where you can learn daily super seo tips and tricks related to e-commerce seo and you can grow your shopify brand from there that's it for this video. Make sure you subscribe and check out the other resources I have in the description and book a free consultation call if you want to work with us and check out the other goodies I have in the description box for you. See you in the next one. Peace.